Hello and welcome back to another grand video with the Transcendent Game Boy Morgan Shadow. That's who I am. This is the demo for Hydro Thunder Hurricane. It's a boat racing uh, arcade classic. I think it's a classic. It should be a classic. If you think it should be a classic, leave a comment below. You can see a roughly well detailed dock there. Lovely detail in the water behind the giant sign. So let's get into this. While the boats are racing past us, or before even in the game, you head starting bastards. I'm just kidding. This is single player, multiplayer. Of course, I can't play it because I don't have internet right now. So we go into single player. You can see right here that is race, ring, master, gauntlet, and championship. Now each of those will unlock each time I finish a race. I believe ring, master, gauntlet, and championship unlock after I do one race. Each of them have their own set of trophies and. Since we can't select any of the other ones, we'll just jump into this one. Now, right now, this is the only uh, track I could do. Lake Powell, or Foul. Powell, okay. These ones cost credits, which you can earn inside the game. You don't have to spend actual money for it, in case you were thinking about that. And yes, you can boat around Area 51, although that's very, very, very weird. Could also be fun, though. Okay, so let's go right into this. Now, the only boat you can start off with is the Vector. Now it's not to be mistaken with the submachine gun. Or the Resident Evil mystery character in Operation Raccoon City. You can get other ones, other skins for the boats. But it tells you there on the bottom, earn gold with this boat in the Tsunami Bow Ring Master event to unlock this skin. It's a fairly lovely skin, I like it. Don't really like this one that much. Although if you get confused a lot on which way to go, this boat will tell you. <laughs> so we're going to go with the solid gold, vector ship, and jump right into this. Gives you four tutorial tips. And it goes slowly so you can read them all. Hopefully, you can read them all. Now, here's something I did not know about boating. Just like with cars, you can draft the other boats slipstream or water waves or wakes whatever they call it here and that will boost you in speed I did not know that you could do that in a boat I thought that was only with cars and stuff like that but it's a lovely feature for a game like this and helps you get ahead my boat's on fire no it's just a mufflers here we go we got our first boost let's not use it right away though because you don't want to end up using your boost and then needing it later when you really need to get ahead and you can't get ahead because you don't have the boost. Oh, I missed that one. It's okay, we'll get one over here. Sit through the rocks here, bounce off the wall of the rock. Get attacked by World War One bombers. Bump this little bugger here. Now we have a fairly around a full boost just about. Now we do have a full boost times two, so what do you say we use that and get ahead of these these other boats here. There we go. Sayonara. I don't like you. You owe me a pizza. Okay. Oh, I hit a barrel there. Stupid barrel! Me and PewDiePie share the dis- Oh, I did not like that. I was saying, me and PewDiePie share our hatred for barrels. They're evil. Oh, not cool. A 
it's hard to maneuver through that stuff. Ah, oh, we fought for position, but I still didn't make the overtake. But that's okay. So as you can see here, I came in second with 2 minutes, 20, 2 hours, 20 minutes, and 41 second finish time. Everyone else is still coming in, trying to catch up to the times. I could switch to the boats if I want to, but that's, that's not going to happen here. Won a silver trophy, oh yay, my first trophy. Wish I could get one in real life, that'd be so cool. Put it on my fireplace. I don't actually have a fireplace. So you can see here, I unlocked the new Ringmaster event. Instead of like a, n a normal boat to boat race, it's a ringed race, kind of like a boat time trial. Gotta go through all the rings and try not to miss any of them. I'm pretty sure it's okay if you miss some, but. Why would you want to miss them? More points. Points are like allowance and I love it. I unlocked a new boat here. Damn the torpedoes! Yes, it's okay to curse because I... The game says I can. <laughs> it's put in a white and red finish with the boat. Kind of makes me think of the Japanese flag. There's 20 on both sides, or if you're reading it from different angles, it's not, it could say 2002 or 2002, whichever way you want to read it. Game of picture of the boat that I just unlocked. So there we go. I'm going to hit next here. Hit no thanks, because I don't really want to see that stuff. It'll make me leave the game, and I don't want to leave the game. So here's the Ringmaster event that I, we just unlocked. Same course before, Lake Powell. Novice course, of course. Because I don't have anything else. I want to go with that expert. Okay. Hit accept here. Now here is the new boat that I just unlocked. And here is the vector. The first boat I used. And the second boat. You can see the stats change with the boats. The Vector having more acceleration handling than, than top speed and air control. And this is a big balance of all four of them. With top speed and air control a little bit more lenient than the acceleration and handling, but that's okay. Here are the new skins that I can unlock for the boat. Sporting a white, purple, and green finish, or that maybe a blue finish, I don't know. And a bumblebee style skin, which it looks alright. You can say it's the Militaire Sans Frontier style boat. Maybe big bosses in there somewhere hiding with cars. I don't know. <laughs> but I'm gonna go back to this one and start this. Alright. Hang gliding past my boat, and you don't wanna hit the engine or the side of it. You Clip yourself, you have to go into the hospital. Very nasty. Very nasty indeed. We want to try to hit as many of these rings as we possibly can. If we can help not missing any, that'll be fine. But Oh! Almost. Okay. So far, so good. I think the first one we do, I'm going to try to just hit as many of the rings as, as we can, then we can do a second run and try to do them as fast as we can. We might miss them though in the second run. But that's okay too. Oh! We missed one. Okay, that's that's okay. We're, f we're fine. We're still hanging on here. It's only one ring out of the many rings we have to go through on this.
Hit the boost for the ramp, and we got two rings. Little news helicopter's trying to see what I'm doing. I'm driving a boat, you bloody wanker. Okay, here we go. Oh, rock slide. Don't like rock slides. They crush boats, and I'm in a boat, and my boat crashed. Hit the boost there. Going a little crazy. Going extra slow for these corners because the last one was really horrible. Grinding on the walls like on every single one of those turns. Me neither, buddy, but we have to. Now, does anybody remember the um, old arcade game California Speed? I used to love that game. Can't find it anywhere else now. Okay, so we earned the silver metal. Didn't get the gold, but that's okay. Like I said before, we were just trying to mainly go through all the rings. Did miss one of them, but that's fine. So we got this another silver trophy, just like the last race. Ooh! We unlocked something, but it ain't too jumpy. Unlocked a new gauntlet mode. Gauntlet is kind of fun. It looks very dangerous, though, considering that there's explosive barrels there. No, I don't want to do that because it'll go back to the dashboard and I'm trying to play a video game for the people on YouTube. So here's the gauntlet mode. Same course as before. We still have the same boat as before. Here's one of the, the other boats I like. She's called Misbehave to sport in a, a traditional World War II um, paint job there. I don't know if you can see see it that well or not, but um, from what I think I remember is um, either the American or the German pilots would paint the uh, planes with the front of that to uh, make them look more terrifying in the sky. I don't really know how terrifying that would be in the sky. You think of sharks flying through you in the air, twelve hundred or so atmosphere, but hey, it's World War 2, what are you going to do? Nothing is unlocked yet. Here's, here's another classic boat. It takes a lot more skill to use. It's got Don't Hate, Little Devil, Irie, it's kind of like a Jamaican color to it. And here's one of those traditional sporting boats you see in, on um, those racing channels you see you find on on your cable box it's got hot chips bad luck razzle dazzle which that looks actually pretty cool and then the banshee not to be confused with the banshee from halo think about it I don't want to think about it now this is one of my absolute favorite boats of this game. The Cutthroat, not to be confused with the Cutthroat Pirates, though yeah, this might as well be one. Hugs and Kisses with a nice little uh, skull on the, right behind the canopy. Corner Pocket, and sporting the billiard skin for the uh, boat. And Sizzle, or Skizzle. I think it's Sizzle. Electrifying, although I really don't know if I want to be in the water with electric current going through it. This is... It's similar to the other skin I showed you with the uh, the boat with the arrows on it. A good boat to, if you get confused and don't know where to go, the boat will tell you where to go. The cutthroat costs 15,000 credits to unlock. It's an expert class boat. Acceleration, top speed handling, and air control are pretty much almost maxed. The handling is maxed. And it's going to take a lot of work to get to there. But 
within time we can get to it. Probably not today in this video though. So yeah, Lake Powell, I'm going to show you with the vector what not lit mode is. So we're going to jump right to this. That's so cool. Now with gluttonate mode, there's going to be a lot of t oh, explosive barrels in the water. You want to make sure you don't hit those. You won't get a good time if you do. And it's going to really wreck your boat and you don't want that either. The bombers are trying to kill me again. First checkpoint. I'm gonna go right between these. Almost hit that barrel, but luckily we didn't. I'm gonna keep going here. Through the canyon. This canyon's familiar. Makes me think of the canyon you race through in um, Star Wars Pod Racer. I know I probably said that wrong, but I don't care. Yay, boost! Skimming the sand there. News chopper trying to get my picture, but you can't get my picture, buddy. Okay! Yeah, I know it's crazy. It's lovely, isn't it? Free falling off of a... Oh, can we get this without hitting the barrels? No, we can't. Ah. Oh. See, that's what happens. But we could, if I was still back there. Thanks to the ringmaster we did, I'm able to get through this a lot better. Ooh, let's get that. Oh! Fudge, my fins. My wide tail end there hit the barrel and that caused us to really screw up there. Yeah, little secret passageway. Lovely! Now don't hit that! Oh, thank god we didn't hit the electricity. Awesome sauce. So we got 2 hours 27 out. 2 hours. Oh, you know how to time it. 2.27.22 is very nice. The fact boat. Silver trophy. Avatar item. And unlock the championship with the milk run. It makes me kind of thirsty. Our credits are getting up me more and more each time. And my boat just blew up there. How the heck did that happen? That's okay, because I wasn't in it. Ha ha ha. And again, no, we don't want to do that. Okay, so now we have the championship unlocked. And if you want to see the championship mode, well, you're just going to have to wait till next time. This has been a transgender game. I'm Morgan Shadow, and have a trans-fabulous day.